Throughout Asheville are reminders of the city's diverse architectural past. This mix of old and new makes our downtown vibrant and is one of the reasons Asheville is consistently ranked by a broad spectrum of publications as one of the best places to live in America. Among the great projects left to us by past architects, designers, and engineers is the challenge of integrating a transportation facility into the context of Asheville. The heart of this challenge lies with improving outdated infrastructure that can no longer meet the demands of today's Asheville, such as I-240 and the future I-26 corridor. Everyday travelers on the interstate corridors in West Asheville are forced to navigate a 1960s era freeway with sharply curved single lane ramps to US 19 2370. Neither the interstate freeways nor these ramps meet today's interstate standards. And not surprisingly, this section of roadway has a higher than average accident rate. In addition to these concerns are the daily traffic delays and congestion that are only getting worse as our population increases. Limited to one lane on the ramp to US 19 2370, traffic backs up onto the interstate. The crossing of the French Broad River is currently at capacity, making delays and congestion commonplace. To alleviate these problems and make the I-26 corridor complete, the North Carolina Department of Transportation has studied a series of improvements known as the I-26 Connector Project. The I-26 Connector Project would include upgrades to the I-26, I-40, I-240 interchange and improvements to I-240 between I-40, I-26 and Patton Avenue west of the French Broad River. From here, a new section of freeway would be constructed to cross the French Broad River and merge into US 192370. Once completed, the I-26 connector will provide a true freeway-to-freeway -freeway connection between I-26 south of Asheville and US-1923 north of Asheville. This connection will complete the link in the corridor, providing a direct multi-lane interstate from the Port of Charleston in South Carolina to I-81 near Kingsport, Tennessee. Of importance to us locally, this project will also improve the capacity of I-240 west of Asheville to meet forecasted traffic demands, as well as reduce delays and congestion along the crossing of the French Broad River. The lifespan of the existing Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge will be extended by the substantial reduction of traffic across it. Most importantly, the project will improve safety on the antiquated section of interstate in West Asheville by bringing it up to modern interstate standards. This project consists of a number of sections and proposed alternatives, which, while different, share a common set of aesthetic features. These may include integrated landscaping, buffer areas, and color treatments on structural elements, as well as designing noise attenuation devices to blend better into the surrounding environment. The I-26 connector project is divided into three sections. Section C, which consists of the I-26, I-40, I-240 interchange. Section A, which would widen I-240 from west of Brevard Road to just north of Haywood Road. And Section B, which extends I-26 across the French Broad River to connect with US 192370 towards Weaverville. Section C has four alternatives that are being considered. However, for visualization purposes only, alternative F1 is being shown at this time. Section A has one proposed alternative that will be a best fit alignment to widen existing I-240, while Section B has four proposed alternatives that are currently being evaluated. Section C's proposed alternative F1 would reconstruct the existing I-26, I-40, I-240 interchange in the same general configuration as today, but with the addition of two missing connections to I-40.
a new loop would connect southbound I-26 East, I-240 West, to eastbound I-40 East, while a ramp would connect westbound I-40 West to northbound I-26 West, I-240 East. I-40 would be widened through the interchange and eastward through the existing interchange with Brevard Road at the Farmer's Market. With this alternative, traffic coming to and from I-26 and I-240 would have full access to Brevard Road by way of I-40. The proposed alternative for Section A would widen I-240 from four lanes to eight lanes and provide upgrades at three interchanges. The interchange with Brevard Road would be a partial interchange. This interchange would lack an exit from southbound I-26 East, I-240 West, because of the close proximity to the Amboy Road interchange. Southbound traffic will instead exit at an upgraded Amboy Road interchange and travel along a new extension of Amboy Road to Brevard Road. This extension of Amboy Road would connect to Fairfax Avenue and Virginia Avenue and continue to an intersection at Brevard Road opposite Shelburne Road, eliminating the current weaving section along I-240 between the two interchanges. A third interchange at U.S. 1923 Business, Haywood Road, would be converted to a tight urban diamond configuration. This design would relocate the current exit ramp from I-240 East that connects to Hanover Street and relocate it to connect directly to Haywood Road. The current two-way section of ramp in the northeast quadrant would also be eliminated. Alternative 3 separates I-240 and I-26, with I-26 running north along a new alignment and I-240 continuing over the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge, as it does currently. This alternative would not modify the I-240 interchange on the east side of the river with Patton Avenue and would not separate local Patton Avenue traffic from I-240 traffic However, Alternative 3 would route I-26 to the east and then north beyond the interchange with I-26, I-240 and Haywood Road. I-26 would then cross under Patton Avenue and I-240 through an edge of the Crown Plaza Resort Golf Course and to the west of the Westgate Shopping Center. I-26 would continue north over Smith Mill Creek, the Murphy Branch Line of the Norfolk Southern Railway, and Emma Road, before turning east to cross the Norfolk Southern Railway Main Line and the French Broad River, merging with US 1923-70. I-26 would become the through movement, with US 1923-70 merging into it approximately one half mile south of the Broadway interchange. Alternative 3C is a newly developed alternative that is a modification of Alternative 3. This new alternative is intended to reduce the project's footprint and subsequent costs. The same as Alternative 3, Alternative 3C separates I-240 and I-26 with I-26 running north along a new alignment and I-240 continuing over the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge as it does currently. This alternative would not modify the I-240 interchange on the east side of the river with Patton Avenue and would not separate local Patton Avenue traffic from I-240 traffic Alternative 3C would route I-26 to the east and then north beyond the interchange with Haywood Road and I-26-I-240. 
I-26 would then cross under Patton Avenue and I-240 through an edge of the Crown Plaza Resort Golf Course and to the west of the Westgate Shopping Center. Like Alternative 3, Alternative 3C would continue I-26 north over Smith Mill Creek, the Murphy Branch Line of the Norfolk Southern Railway, and Emma Road. However, the I-26 bridge crossing the French Broad River would be south of Alternative 3's crossing and would tie back to U.S. 192370 with the northbound lanes merging into U.S. 192370 in the vicinity of Riverside Cemetery and the southbound lane splitting from U.S. 192370 in the vicinity of the Montford neighborhood. To the north, I-26 would continue to the Broadway interchange. Alternative 4 was developed to separate the local traffic on Patton Avenue from the I-240 through traffic. To accomplish this, the split between I-26 and I-240 would be moved north of the interchange at Patton Avenue allowing the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge to carry only local Patton Avenue traffic. A modified interchange at I-240, U.S. 192370 Patton Avenue east of the French Broad River would accommodate a direct freeway connection from I-240 to the northbound combined I-240, U.S. 192370 roadway as well as a ramp connection to Patton Avenue from the southbound combined I-240 U.S. 192370. The alternative's alignment for I-26 would follow roughly the same path as Alternative 3, crossing under Patton Avenue and now combined with I-240, running through the edge of the Crown Plaza Golf Course and along the west side of Westgate Shopping Center. I-26 would then cross Smith Mill Creek, the Norfolk Southern Railway branch line, and Emma Road along a complex bridge structure that would carry the main line of I-26, portions of four ramps, the I-240 eastbound flyover ramp, and a portion of a slip ramp connecting Patton Avenue to the flyover. I-26 would continue north before turning east and crossing the French Broad River and merge with U.S. 192370 as it does in the other alternatives. At Alternative 4's I-26-I-240 split, I-240 would turn east and cross the French Broad River along two new flyover bridges. Braided ramps will be used to avoid weaving as a result of the close proximity to the Patton Avenue interchange. East of the French Broad River, the I-240 flyover bridges would turn south and connect to U.S. 192370 with I-240 becoming the through movement for traffic. In early 2007, a new alternative concept emerged through the efforts of the Asheville Design Center. The goal of the alternative was to separate local Patton Avenue traffic from I-240 traffic across the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge, similar to Alternative 4, but to provide an alternate that seeks to better fit the Asheville Riverfront community. In the fall of 2007, the City of Asheville and Buncombe County hired an independent consultant to further evaluate and develop an alternative concept based on the principles of the original Asheville Design Center alternative. Through collaboration between the ADC, City of Asheville, Buncombe County and the NCDOT, a new alternative emerged known as Alternative 4B. Alternative 4B was developed to separate the local traffic on Patton Avenue from the I-240 through traffic. To accomplish this, the split between I-26 and I-240 would be moved north of the interchange at Patton Avenue, allowing the Captain Jeff Bowen Bridge to carry only local Patton Avenue traffic.
The alternative's alignment for the combined I-26, I-240 would cross Patton Avenue slightly west of the Westgate Shopping Center and running through the edge of the Crown Plaza Golf Course and alongside the west side of Westgate Shopping Center. I-26 would then turn to the east, split from I-240 and cross Smith Mill Creek, the Norfolk Southern Railway, Emma Road and the French Broad River along a complex bridge structure. The I-26 bridge crossing would be south of the other alternatives and would tie back to U.S. 192370 in the vicinity of Riverside Cemetery, where it would become an elevated bridge over the existing lanes of U.S. 192370. The I-26 mainline bridge would end at the north end of the Montford neighborhood, where the lanes of U.S. 192370 would merge into I-26. To the north, I-26 would continue to the Broadway interchange. At alternative 4B's I-26-I-240 split, I-240 would turn east and cross the French Broad River along two new flyover bridges, similar to alternative 4. Braided ramps will be used on the east side of the split to avoid weaving as a result of the close proximity to the Patton Avenue interchange. East of the French Broad River, the I-240 flyover bridges would turn south and connect to U.S. 192370, with I-240 becoming the through movement for traffic with the same configuration as Alternative 4. The models and renderings shown were developed to be an additional tool in showing how the project may look once constructed and are a good faith effort to provide as accurate a representation as possible. Specific elements of the models are subject to change and numerous additional studies will be completed as the project development and design phases continue. Key elements such as aesthetics and multimodal considerations will be evaluated in greater detail at a later time and any representations shown are only potential solutions that will need to be coordinated between the numerous stakeholders who will be involved in making this project a reality. We thank you for your interest in the I-26 Connector Project and look forward to discussing the project with you in greater detail. Again, thank you for coming today.